welcome to Nerd Spain Podcast. I'm your host, Eric Da Silva. With me, as always, is my co-host, Jose Romero. Greetings and salutations to all the nerds out there. Happy Nerd Day, as always. What's going on? And a wonderful week in geek. Uh, so many little things. Uh, uh, guys, I, I know the, the strike is still going on, and people are getting worried about, like, oh, what's going to happen? Things are getting delayed. It's okay. Because even if the shows don't come out, we still have source material. Comic books are still coming out because they're not affected by the, the writer's strike. And these things have unlimited budgets. Go to your local comic book store. If you ever liked any kind of superhero, whatever, experiment. Try out some great indie books. Try a book called uh, called uh, Something is Killing the Children. You will appreciate it because that's a great book going on right now. But so much great stuff that you can be reading. So don't worry. There's plenty of stuff to still nerd explain. There's always stuff. We'll I mean, yeah, the, the news is slowing down for obvious right. reasons. I mean, there's, there's no dealing behind the scenes in terms of, you know, the things in development kind of, and, you know, people getting hired and actors, yada, yada, yada. It is what it is. And like I said, right. you know, we'll, we'll, we'll touch on it. But, but, but that being said, the slow news, I did find something interesting, interesting a, a few a couple hours ago. I was like, you know, let me share this because... You know, there's always a complaint. This is just, you know, generalization, generalizing the movie audience, right? Where there's nothing original coming out. It's all sequels or established IP. There's nothing wrong with that. There's room for right. everything. Sure. Um, and there is tons of original shit. Just nobody wants to go see it. Um, well, these days, no one wants to go see the unoriginal stuff and I see Indiana Jones uh, or Flash. Uh, but, <laughs> yeah, so really Oppenheimer's doing well. Barbie still exploding i mean that's not, not quite original but whatever at least it's not a superhero film it, there's never been a barbie movie but that's well, what I'm yeah, it's never not been a superhero. live it's action it's not people it's not a superhero film or whatever so or a sequel or whatever sure um, technically oppenheimer is a mad scientist so it works technically. Okay, exactly. fair, enough, fair enough but like i said there's always plenty of good stuff but i got you want something original i got them way for you so i ran to this trailer and i was like i gotta see what this is it's called the slaughterhouse have you seen this i've even heard of this the slaughterhouse? Not the, just slaughterhouse. Just slaughter or slaughter? Slaughter, not okay. slaughter. Slaughter. No play on words because okay. Anyone's... No, I, I've not. Heard, okay. No, I have no idea. So, for those who want original ideas, this is for you right here. Uh, slaughterhouse because of sloth. So this is a movie, a horror film about a killer sloth. Ridiculous. Beyond words, a little sloth that just going off. There's a scene where the girl opens the shower and a sloth's there and it's stabbing her. Ridiculous. The sloth then goes on the computer, mind you, and is scrolling through people's social media. The sloth is scrolling on a computer. The wow. Most genius sloth. Slaughterhouse coming August 30th. I didn't say it was good original. I just said it was an original idea. Listen, as terrible the as it important sounds, thing and is, is if you want to start from the ground floor of a fandom, <laughs> here's your in. This, this, this one of those like startup companies you invest in, you never know what could happen. <laughs> Maybe it blows up. You don't, want, you don't want to miss out. You don't want to be that guy missing out. Where everyone's talking about all the house. You have no idea what's going on. You've been warned. Go out and watch it. 30 Peter years Rush. from now, people are like, you're not a real Slaughterhouse fan. <laughs> oh, Slaughterhouse, I was there from the beginning. We're going to have the t-shirt, <laughs> t-shirts and the comics. Oh, every, strike. You know? I saw it happen. <laughs> Listen, Slaughter, you're right. Slots aren't on strike at this point in time. So bring on the animals, man. Let's get on board. So August 30th, I can't wait to ignore this film. And I'm sure you guys can't wait to do the same. I, I will enjoy it when it comes out on streaming. I'll have an edible to make sure I'm in it. Oh, you might need I'm... more than one edible. This requires... Yes. Okay, <laughs> there. Maybe a six-pack and a punch Maybe, in the face. I don't know. <laughs> Mix it all up. So there you go, folks. Stop complaining. There's tons of good original shit coming Compared out. to that, Secret Invasion is an Oscar winner. Oh, my God. This is like the... <laughs> <laughs> the Citizen Kane of, of TV in comparison. Um, actually, I want, I want, let's not start here. The little, little here. But let's um, talk about the strike real quick for a second. Sure. Because, you know, obviously, we you know, things being canceled and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And Sony, of course, is no, uh, it's 
let's save on this and they just announced that they have can well not cancel let me rephrase they postponed delayed, delayed postponed. many a projects including unfortunately spider-verse which is canceled when well, i canceled postponed indefinitely not even a date there's nothing indefinitely on yeah, there's no new date. Wow. Every other film that they moved around got a new date, right? Whether it be shuffled right. ahead or later on. That one has no. That one's you know to be determined is the wow. uh, the language wow. that they use. So I don't. Know, the sad news uh, on the on the plus side of it, they are delaying Craven, and that will probably be a good thing. That is a win. That is a win, that is a right? Win. That is a win. A year, a del which is a huge delay. These other films got two months, three months, whatever. But a year, that's a lot. I think that. what their plan is to put out good movies. And then when you're riding a high, that you watch Craven. And like, oh, we suck you. Yeah, but we gave you like a year of great movies. So give us a pass. What they should have like, all right. No, what so, they should have done it is release it the week after Slaughterhouse. Because compared to that, that, that maybe the Citizen Kane that of, been, of Super. That would have been the Dark Knight of superhero films. In comparison, <laughs> they could have won out, but they didn't think. They didn't smart, think like, they didn't we, are, you know, we, we got brains. We got brains. Sony so, strategic. Yeah. Uh, it's a little off. The strategy is a little off. Uh, so, but everything got moved around, man. But yeah, Spider Verse is the big deal here. That that sucks. I mean, like, yeah, I, don't, I didn't think. Yeah, I didn't think it was gonna come out in March next year anyway. From what I was hearing. I was hoping. I was hoping but, against hope. Yeah, that's definitely not gonna be the case. Clearly, I, I I'm thinking a year. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, which sucks. That kind of sucks, but whatever. Yeah. It is what it is. But in the meantime, I will say Sony could have given us something very interesting here because I saw a movie yesterday. It was two days ago. I don't know. And this could very well be the greatest. And I'm using this term very loosely given the subject matter. So bear that in mind. I don't say the greatest. That's a poor choice of words. The best. Here we go. The best okay. video game movie I've seen. And that is Wait, Gran, Gran Turismo. You mean better than Sonic and Mario? Because both of those. Well, Ma Mario. I was I don't tell you. Oh. I don't count Mario's animated. So I'm not gonna count that. I'll say non-animated. How's that? Tell okay. You. How's that? Fair. Because um, most of them have been live action, right? Even Sonic. Right. Live action. Yeah, even better than Sonic. Not not by a lot. And not that Sonic is great. And you know, it's it's fine, right? But. <laughs> The bar's low. <laughs> Let's be clear. Way low. <laughs> Way low. It's been, Way low. With the exception of TV stuff, you know, things like The Witch, which we'll talk about later, uh, Last of Us, for the most part, the film has been horrific. It's been bad. But Gran yes. Turismo, I got to say, dude, it kind of surprised me. It could well be the best of the bunch. And I know that's not saying a whole lot. And, but here's, but here, I it's think, a good but movie. I, I, I think I know why it's a good movie, and it, but it defeats the purpose of what a video game movie is, sure. which is it's a story about a guy who played the video game. That's what Gran Turismo is. So it's not about the video game. It it's is. about a real-life guy sure. who played the video game, and he became awesome. So it's more of like a like – a, like a, it is, it's based on real events, but it's, it's like – It's real it's events? Like you, it's still a video it's like game. You, it's like if you made a movie about – uh, Dr. Mario, and then a real life doctor did that while decompressing, and he figured out the cure for cancer. You can't call the Dr. Mario movie the movie that helps cure cancer. It was just the <laughs> movie the guy played while he figured out a way to cure cancer. Or female, I mean, doctors, no gender assignments, guys. But yeah, that's what I mean. So, is Gran Turismo a good movie? I believe it is, but I don't believe, I don't count it as a video game movie. It's, it's more about a guy who played a video game counts, and then became It's awesome. about the video game, you know, the simulation, and actually, it's, it's funny. I, I didn't even realize it until afterwards, and I forgot that Neil Blomkamp directed this. <laughs> um, yeah, he gave us District Nine, which was fantastic, and he's been such a great movie sliding down ever since, unfortunately. Oh, um, yeah, but this may this will hopefully brings him back because he's got a lot of talent. He just made some poor choices, a la Chappie. I think um, he works well when he's got a good team around him, but when you give him a lot of carte blanche, he kind of goes all over. Right, but it's just it's a solid. It's, the, the fact that true story really made it. You're not that's really what. Right. Like, I mean, this would have been a, a movie about. A, a guy who drove and he became a driver like get the fuck out of here that's not gonna yeah. happen nonsense like i'll play Madden. i've seen and, and, days of thunder i don't right even exactly exactly i don't play mad and then join the football team because it just doesn't happen but, that's what i'm saying but it's legit it's real to happen which is incredibly impressive it really is to, you like know, you know the movie invincible with mark Wahlberg, where he yeah. went out for the yeah, trials yeah, the Phillies? It, it, imagine if they call that 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 movie 
Madden. And it's about a guy who played Madden and then tried out. And he thought about all the plays he did. And it's not, it's a, it's a movie about a guy who was awesome enough to get into the NFL. Not about a guy who played the video. Like, it's not a Madden video movie. It's, it's, you know what I mean? It's like, argh, it's not. No, right. Not. But th- th- this is strict. I mean, he, he didn't know how to race. He barely drove. And he just learned because of the game. And, and, which is incredible. All jokes aside, that's amazing. It really is. It is I didn't is, even know yeah. that going to the film. Like a couple weeks ago into it, I was like, oh, true story? Oh, shit. I honestly didn't even know that was a thing. How did that not be, how was not that a bigger story I, when I it don't happened? Know. For me, I mean, I like sports, but I don't like racing at all. So maybe but, that's why. But but we're, uh, we're, 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 we've also, we're video gamers. Oh, I know. I, so how's Gran Turismo not like blasting? Like we I, made this dude. Maybe it did. And we just, I don't know, it's happened back to 2000. 12, 13, so not, the, not that long ago, but I mean, it's incredible. I mean, dude, because race, listen, we all want to drive fast, but let's not kid ourselves. What these guys do, a very small percentage of people can do. It's very so small. hard, legitimately. The speed and the control, it's incredible. The stamina to do that just by doing a game is ridiculous. And I said, Absolutely. if it wasn't a true story, this movie would have been nonsense. I don't like It's so I unbelievable, agree. whatever. But dude, I think that's what made it really good, right? That, you know, yeah. the kind of that groundedness, like, hey, this is this really happened. But it's really wait, it's wait, a good movie at the end of the day. Do you, is this movie, and I, I, I hate to use the word grounded, but is this movie a grounded version of The Last Starfighter? Touche. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, that is good. Yeah, you know what? It could be a little <laughs> It could very well be for man for ten people who have actually seen Starfighter. Um, we even <laughs> know what the fuck we're talking movie. about. <laughs> Enjoy the strike and watch the last Starfighter. Yes, yeah, there's no new stuff later. coming out. I'm talking, about, talking about old school, <laughs> the original video game, not video game movie, uh, which is actually not bad. <laughs> it's '80s cheese, but it's actually not bad. Um, but come on, as a kid, we all wanted to be that guy. Come on now. Oh, everybody on, wanted to. Yeah. Absolutely. And we all thought we could uh, fly around the ship. Uh, but yeah, it's a, you're right. But the whole thing, I'm not hearing about it. I, you're right, dude. I didn't even think about that. I was like, how did we not know about this? <laughs> you know, I, I If I was the company that produced Gantt's Regional, I would fire my marketing person. Uh, I go back in time. Maybe, fire. You lost. But maybe it was a story. I just missed it. I don't know. Like I said, I don't. I'm, I'm not sure into racing, little, so I'm sure I. There was a story I, in I, the racing community, of course, but of the course. general public, like that, should have been in every GameStop. <laughs> like, <Seriously>, right? <laughs> right? I mean, like, announced like we made this dude uh, play Grand, Grand Turismo, Turismo game right? To make you awesome. Yeah, but yeah. What? And it's funny because the whole thing was like the uh, Orlando Bloom play, play, plays the marketing guy who came up with the idea, or whatever. He was really trying to, you know, help promote Grand Turismo and Nissan, whatever. Yeah, you can use the game to your advantage, right? Get these gamers in there. So, I'm t- uh, but that's it's fascinating. But really, actually, good win. Like I said, probably one of the better video game movies ever made. Again, low bar. I'm not saying this is this is not Ford versus Ferrari, which is which is great. But it's really good. It's a good. It's a good solid flick. Um, solid movie. Yeah. All right. Good to know. Yeah. But that being said, let's move on to our favorite thing that I love to hate, and that's of course Star Wars. Still waiting on Kathleen Kennedy and all this other stuff. But in the meantime, there's some news. You filled me with such tales of if Indy doesn't work, oh, buddy. Listen, I, and get I, I, ready I, I, to wrap up. I've heard stories that the, the board is divided. That's what I've heard. Um, about have part, keeping her part, don't want to have her there. So whatever, for whatever that's worth. I mean, um, they must really like the Mandalorian because that's all you got. I, I, yeah, I mean, I, I don't get it. I, I'll give you. I'll give you also Jedi Fallen Order, but that being said, not so not enough. Right, I don't think that's. I'm not sure if she's involved. Not. I don't know. Um, well, I mean, anything. Just, just Lucas, she's kind of involved in it, right? I, I guess. I don't know. Maybe they got separate game division. I, I don't know. Like I said, I, I'm not okay. sure. Maybe I do. Maybe Fair. I don't. I don't know. Fair. Um, but either way, so here we go. So Lando, it's apparently. Uh, potentially was being developed was going to be written by as soon as the strike is over i'm sure of course donald glover and his brother uh who are no strangers to writing of course donald glover played lando of course the younger version solo a series on disney plus which is an idea i absolutely despise for so many reasons you know what i like it because if you've watched atlanta and he was in community and he used to write for 30 rock he understands how to set up a TV show. This is probably the best news ever because if you're going to do a TV series, get a guy who's works who's worked well and understands TV. 
I mean, they've gotten good writers before, and it hasn't stopped from shit. From but they haven't been TV people. They, I mean, they, but Rick and Morty doesn't count. Rick and Morty's cartoons, and yeah, cartoons you can do whatever the fuck TV, you want. TV, to be fair. But TV, TV. I mean, I'll, I'll, I can't say, well, Lana's not science fiction, or is it you know, a space fantasy, or, or a serious thing. It's, like, it's a comedy. We can, but, like, uh, we, we can go back and say, well, he's, ne he's never done this before. And listen, at, at, at the end of the day, right, as long as Kathleen Kennedy's there, who, I don't give a fuck. Who, Christopher Nolan. To this it's Star Wars, awesome. This is the only time I will not get excited about Christopher Nolan film if he's doing Star Wars. <laughs> that, that's how, how little I think of Lucasfilm right now and the leadership. It, it is what it, it starts at the top. I don't give a fuck who they bring in. They can bring in Spielberg, Nolan, collaborate, and they're going to give a shit. They're going to give a shit. James Mangold, a, a great director. Look what he had to deal with at Lucasfilm. Fair. Right, Fair. and he's legit. Fair. He's a really good director, right? Yeah. Great experience. He's he's done, and he's done this kind of film, big budget superhero. He's done all that stuff, and he gave us mediocre at best, right? And it, yeah, and it failed. So again, dude, that's why I'm not excited about the idea because it's still, I think Kenny's still there. I mean, I mean, and and it's still Star Wars, right? Inconsistent. Why should and and about you know let's face it, Solo was mediocre, and I'm being nice. It was mediocre at best, and it was the least profitable film. And yet they want to mind that. It's just it's odd. Like, why would you mind your worst performing film? It because doesn't make any sense. Be, because Donald Glover. Yeah, but the, nobody knows. Ten people know Donald Glover and all. Let's be honest. Most of the fans use Donald Glover. Like, who? Oh, they're not gonna know. So a just, lot of people know Donald Glover. If you say so. He's not, he, have, have he's not a household. He's not a household. Songs. He's not a household name. No one knows. He probably even writes. I'm talking about the casual fan, and even the hardcore Star Wars fan may know him for obvious reasons, but they didn't know his background. He's I think Donald Glover carries a lot of of like of like normie street cred, and that's what you're gonna want to do. So, normie so street you cred. and McGregor, and let's see how that turned out. Well, once wah, again, wah, wah. Wah. Once again, that was a, a, a big problem of like, trying to reverse engineer a two-hour movie and making a six-hour. It's a, just a bunch of blah. Fair enough. Yeah. But, I mean, it still happened, and it still happened under the regime of one Kathleen Kennedy, which goes back to the main point, right? Can you succeed under this? And it is what it is, right? And let's, let's face it, it. I don't know. But, again, Solo was your worst Star Wars film in a long time. It was the worst one. Why is that the one you're going back to? That doesn't make any sense to me. It's like, again, why... Like, Again, Kathleen Kennedy, going back to Ray again, because we all loved her and we all loved that movie, those movies, and we're mining that stuff instead of cutting with original Star Wars characters. Right? Let's move forward, get out of this universe, please. And that's the other frustrating part, with, with the exception of James Mangold's, well, maybe not James Mangold, but potentially James Mangold's movie, everything else is status quo, we've seen it, characters we know. I don't know. And even the fact that Billy Dee Williams is coming up, because this is the next thing I'll tie this in, because he came out and made an announcement recently. Um, you know, he's talking about, you know, he, he's thrilled to make a future announcement soon, it's a dream come true, yada, 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 it ends with, may the force be with you all. It's, I mean, he's going to come on saying things, but it's potentially might be in the show. Probably he's older doing a flashback when he's younger kind of deal, obviously. That's kind of what I... I, I, I mean, what I, else I mean, this, this could it be, right? We've I mean, all pitched that idea. Right, right. It's not the most original. Right. We've all... Exactly. It's, okay, here we go. I mean, and Billy, I don't think he was that great in the last one. It could have been the whole movie. The it's, secret it's terrible, sauce but... is going to be Donald Glover. And I'll, and I'll tell you why. Did you read the Donald Glover's pilot episode pitch for a Deadpool cartoon series. I saw it. Listen, I love Donald Glover. He's great. It was great. But I'm telling and because you, of that, I feel Steven like you Spielberg will fail fun. on the Lucas Arm, Lucas Art, uh, Lucas Film. Sorry, Nolan will fail. He just will because at the end of the day, you still have a lot of Catholic. studio interference. There, yeah, singer. I get it. You know, I get I, it. it doesn't matter. This it, it, it doesn't even far far road. He lasts as long as he could, but now his his last season was so par to say the least. Yeah, it's just true. it's not working, and he was still involved in and in, in Fett, Let's be honest. Yeah. Uh, so it's just I don't know I, I don't get it I just <sighs> Donald Glover write something else do an original Star Wars take then that would get me excited because at least we're getting something new right we're not mining the shit we didn't like I didn't like Solo let's go back to it why are we going back to Solo nobody wants Solo nobody cares about Solo in my opinion at all. Star Wars works best when you treat it like Prince treats his music yeah I got my hits but here's the new shit 
<laughs> that's what I'm saying. You gotta, that's, that's you how gotta you inject gotta... some Tomunis every so often. You can't go back to the well. Or you can't. The, and... the fandom formerly known as Star Wars will keep up. <laughs> Just give us the new stuff. Uh, now, you tell, now, if Captain Candy is in the fight or whatever happens, then I'm back on board. Then I'm back sure. on board. Absolutely. Right. But if, as long yeah. as she's there, it's hard to get excited about it. it just, I, I it understand. Is, right? and, it's like, you know how, it how do you get excited about a steak that's literally just gone, just, just dipped in shit? Like, <laughs> oh, oh my God, this is playing my young. Oh, yeah, I know. Isn't it delicious? Or, or it's well done, right? They, you go to the chef, it keeps giving you a well done steak, which is blasphemous as far as I'm concerned. And you keep getting it well done. Yo, medium, medium, medium rare. Hold up. Let, let me pee on it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but it is what it is. But let's go from one disaster to potentially another disaster here. Um, potentially. DC. Okay. They have their struggles, right? They're having the struggles. Yes. Obviously. Sure. Uh, financially, more than, not creatively as much, but financially is a right. disaster. So now this is a huge, huge thing of Gaga that came out the other day and talking about she was uh, advised by Mr. James Gunn and Peter Saffron, mind you. Okay. That... You know, they have plans or whatever, or they're going to develop or attempt to develop a new Wonder Woman Part 3 or whatever you want to call it. Sure. And all that. <sighs> which, makes me, which makes me think it's same old DC. New leadership, same nonsense. Because I'll say this. Are you either doing a reboot, a hard reboot, which he has stated, or you're not. Right? You can't flip-flop back and forth. And now you're not doing Gaga. Though. Now we're bringing her in. You got rid of Hamid Carroll, which everyone loved. And you keep her for whatever reason. 1984 was was not well received, right? Let's be honest. At all. At all. At all. Uh, Even was... my kids, who have a real, we're gonna let this one ride because it's just shiny colors. We're like, eh, it's okay. Yeah, at best it's fine. It's most people, most people didn't like it. I think I liked it more than more people, but I didn't like it that much. Most I think you liked it more than more. People. I didn't like it at all. Right, right. Even yeah. So. I thought it was just for me. It was okay. I had some cool moments, but yeah, for the most part, majority would say they didn't like it. We can all agree with that. Right. Um, which I'm fine with. I, you're right. I cannot do that. So, but yeah. So now, if we're going back to that, what's going on here? Like, I don't. I just don't understand. This may not be true. Maybe she heard something or was told something just to shut her up. I don't know. I, hey, guy, we're think, gonna call you. Yeah, we got you. We got you. And never call her honestly, again. I don't know. Because this is what I think. Because Wonder Woman, the first one, was so well received, and a lot of people get excited for her cameos, both in Shazam and in the Flash. Even though no one went to go see that movie, it didn't help, it, like, it didn't help the box office. <laughs> it was fun to know that she was part of it. Yeah, but, but, yeah but we're not we're not blaming her for that disaster for, for those right. uh, for that. But, uh, as far but, as box but office like the people who did see the movie all say the Gal Gadot cameo was fun. It was the it's, highlight it's, of the movie. People, sometimes people like Gal Gadot, no doubt. Like, I That's I, I like her too. So, like I mean, I, if they would have said so, from the beginning we're bringing if, her back, great. If they do, if they do another one, another Wonder Woman movie with her, I don't think it's going to be. Wonder Woman three, it's just gonna be the third Wonder Woman movie she does, but it'll be true, true. What were in her new universe? I don't think it's gonna carry over to anything else. I like DC if needs to do, reboot. DC, I, I, if, if they, I, I love a hard reboot. They need to, I'll, but he I, said that. That's what he said. I'd words. even take a soft reboot where maybe some aesthetic stuff is the same, but like the 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 storyline is not. You know, I'll take that. Yeah. But don't give me exactly like I, I if you reference 1984, I'm not going to set the movie theater on fire, but I'm going to leave right. you a sick burn on Rotten Tomatoes. You best believe. <laughs> so, yeah, it's just an odd choice. And I love I like your under row. I really do. But like I said, either wipe the say clean or don't pick a lane. Right. Because I just, agree. Listen, the DC didn't work. It just didn't work. People, people liked it. I was, you know, I think most of those are mixed, right? Some good, some bad. I, listen, you know, but we've, overall, we've, we've said visually, work. she surprised me how well she encompassed Wonder Woman. I oh, didn't yeah. think I was going to like her as Wonder Woman. I really did. She looks great in the costume, which yeah, is of course, absolutely. She's like, a great Wonder Woman. No half the battle. Yeah. Uh, I do think it was sort of a cheat that because she has an Israeli accent, all the Amazonians sound Israeli instead of Greek. But whatever. Listen, yeah, man, listen, we all it, have... it works. Whatever works, right? And it, so, but it's fine. It's magic, it yeah. right? Magic yeah. doesn't have to make no. sense. So, yeah, cool. Whatever. It's, it's Greeks, fine. mystical sure. Greeks sounds like sound like Israelis. Awesome. No problem. I'm in. It happens, so, right? Um... <laughs> because yeah. of that, but don't give us... Ignore 1984. If you ignore 1984 and the Justice League and Batman vs. Superman, I'm in. Yeah, that... You can keep Wonder Woman. 
I'll let you know. keep. I, it's, just, of- it's just confi- I guess it is, this may end up being nothing, right? Or maybe, right. I don't know. But I mean, I prefer just start over. Just listen. It doesn't work. You don't want anything. Even if people liked her, you don't want any piece of the old DC, right? Because it, listen, it's clearly look at the box office. So it's it, it's clearly me, showing that no one cares If you're gonna that. if you're gonna hard reboot Wonder Woman, who would you cast as Wonder Woman? This, I'm sure they can find a thousand people. No, no one wanted. No one thought Gal Gadot would get, ever get hired for that, right? That was a name anyone had in, in their heads, right? Right. Gal Gadot, she was barely anybody at that point. So they can always find someone. All she did was the Fast and the Furious movie. Right. That's all we knew her from. Exactly. Right. That's been for the most. So you can find. I'm sure they can find somebody out there who can do it. I, there's thousands of actresses who are soon to be out of the strike. Hopefully, they can hire. Um, so. Listen, they replace Superman. There's always a new Superman. There's always True. a new Bond. There's always a new Batman. There's going to be a new Spider Man. It is what it is, right? And, and every time, if you're oh, going to recast the best one. Wonder Woman, if you're going to recast Wonder Woman, make her Yara Floor, the Brazilian Wonder Woman from the actual Amazon rainforest. I, Give us Brazilian Wonder 100% Woman. 100% behind. I would never say, you know what? Great. Absolutely. I, 100%. So, I, listen, there's options, right? But I just prefer to the Harvey Boop. It just, it just it doesn't make any sense, and because I want DC to do good, and these people don't like it. They don't like it. Let's be honest. The numbers speak for themselves, right? We could sit there and say how much we love all these films. No one's watching them. What did that tell you, right? And there's a lot of reasons I'm for saying. that. But they're in the shit. They're in the shit right now. Blue Beetle's gonna bomb it. That's clear. All projections. Shut your face. Aquaman's gonna. Don't be... listen to Blue Beetle. I believe in it. Aquaman's Don't. gonna be a disaster. Let's be honest. Yeah, clearly, clearly, yeah, and, that's that, and that's gonna bomb too. Let's be clear. I be shocked that movie does really well. To do a bad spot, dude. So I don't know. I just let's see. And again, it could be one of those that they told her something. You know, yeah, we'll call you. You know, she's like, oh, hey, and she's telling people, hey, they told me this. A lot of people in Hollywood hear a lot of things that never comes to fruition. Right? This, We're gonna call this, you this right after we call The Rock. We're right, exactly. Yeah, we got, we got you. It's gonna be right. We gotta talk to The Rock one first. Right after the other. We got Henry Cavill next one, then you next. So, um, so let's see. But that's it's just it's just weird. It's just interesting. Um, let's do a little Marvel. You can't you can't not do a show without Marvel. That's what I'm saying. A couple. Of that's what I'm saying. First one. Um, today was actually the day I thought we may have been discussing the trial of one Jonathan Majors. Yeah. It was supposed to be today initially, but eh, nope, that got delayed a month. Um, the the uh, prosecution asked for a continuance for some discovery purposes, so that's about another month that they were given. So now I think it's September 2nd, which is getting closer to Loki, which we'll talk about in a second, right? But now that's kind of dangerous, right? And now the trial probably lasts a week or whatever, maybe like a week and a half at best, whatever the case is. So. That's interesting because, you know, whatever happened, there would have been not a lot of time, but some time to kind of sweep things under the rug, perhaps. That's less likely now, particularly if it goes sour, and God forbid it goes sour because I don't know what they're going to do. But that I being, think oh, go ahead. They're, 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 they're slowly realizing the evidence that Jonathan Majors has is going to make it. They should have tossed this court case out maybe, a long time ago. Maybe. And, uh, and they're like, can we delay? Because we're, we're so much information that we didn't even know. Right. About. Got, got the new informa- who knows? I mean, who knows? Right. But we'll, we'll, we got to wait another month on all of this nonsense. And so just, you know, Marvel against has to just kind of sit back and say, damn it, whatever. Uh, which is odd because they know that they're releasing the trailer for Loki, which came out. Um, yeah. Oh, a few days before, which is very odd time to place it, given the fact that trial had not been suspended at that point. But whatever, and the trailer actually showed Jonathan Majors, which is I right. was surprised about. Um, well, I was I'm, I was less surprised because they finally also released the uh, making of Quantum Mania, and mm-hmm. Jonathan Majors is featured heavily on that as well. So I think Marvel's got a little bit of the inside track. On what's going perhaps, on. Perhaps, perhaps, perhaps that's the case. But I got a feeling. We'll, we'll talk about the trailer because obviously, listen, it was like one of the most viewed trailers for for Marvel series and all that. I liked the first Loki. I thought it was one of the yeah. better, better shows. It wasn't great, oh my god, but it was good, solid. Again, started great, ended okay. I thought the whole thing was great, um, top to bottom. But yeah, it's one of the better shows. So I, again, this Loki is a very popular character, so I get why it was watched as much. Again, I'm. We get the specifics in a moment, but not excited because again, this is the Star Wars syndrome. Huh? Here we go, Marvel, another mediocre show. Uh, you know what am I gonna say, right? Put a gun to my head. I, you got to go with the odds. Odds are it's not gonna be good. 
is mean it but can't if be the good. first one was good they at least have the template of what they need to have hit a template to this, to make this that potential good. This, it could be fantastic it always has that the potential i'm just going the probability is it probably won't be based on what we've been giving the last year right year and a half of fair of everything right fair. just Hopefully this one breaks that chain and we get something good. Great. I'm, if you're running strictly yeah. on odds and statistics, yeah, I see. Your that, that's what I'm saying, right? Just based off that, right? So, but the trade looked cool. Um, I don't think Jonathan Majors has a big role in this at all, to be honest with you. It doesn't seem like it. No, I think right? he's more of a. You feel his presence, but you see him only in specific. Yeah, moments. I think that one scene they showed is might be the only scene he's in, which is maybe that's why they're not be too concerned about. I think he probably. I, if it's six episodes, I think he's in at least in two of them. I'm thinking one. I think it's just one. I, I, I don't know. I just got this funny feeling that it's all we're gonna get from. Maybe it's two, but that's not a lot. Either way, one or two is not a lot. Right? No, I yeah, it's but small because percentage. Jonathan Majors yeah. is is a you know at the time of filming a big yeah. star. So yeah. you know, two episodes. I mean, he was only one episode of the first season of Loki. Right. At the end. So yeah, of course, but we so, figured they're gonna you know keep bump him up a little bit which, now. That's what I'm figuring. Right, I, that's I why it's two episodes. I guess, but I mean, I don't know. Who knows? With, with Marvel's plan, I'm not, who, pff, your guess is as good as mine, right? Uh, but the trailer itself. Let's talk about the trade and what you saw. Like your thoughts on it. What? You, what? Anything you picked out that looked interesting? Uh, first of surprising, all, surprising maybe. How? How? how uh, they? They? They opened it exactly the way they should have. Hey everybody, look who we got in Loki too. Yep. And I, I as far as I has a picture I have right now, of course, from short round. Coming up is successive, you know, everything, everywhere, all at once. So that was cool. We Oscar you know, winner. Yeah, Don't Oscar, forget Oscar winning. Oscar yeah, yeah, short round again. Put Oscar. some respect on this dude's name. Nah, absolutely. No doubt. So that was cool to see him. I like him a lot. So that, that's really It cool. was yeah. super exciting. I like the fact that his name is Ouroboros. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I like the idea of since he is named after the snake eating its own tail and you're dealing with the multiverse and the sacred timeline. It's all about circles. I like how they're kind of, even in the names, implying that where we start might be also where we end, but we're going to understand why we started it better and right. what it means. And it's all about context. And I kind of like that the subtleties of everything they're kind of putting in there. Uh, and I love the uh, old-fashioned tech scene that all kind of smushed it together. I know a lot of people online already mentioned about seeing Loki what he refers to as time slipping and okay. we are looking at more of like a more organic version of glitching oh okay you know that's kind of an interesting interesting thing that kind of connected with loki as well you know give it a different term um there's a lot of theories out there right now that the reason why loki is glitching is because when he got sent back to the tva at the end of season one he now is in the wrong timeline but he's in a different time in that timeline as well so that's why it's causing him a time slip because he doesn't belong there right. uh so i think that's a really interesting take we'll see what that means but just seeing the interactions of tom hiddleston and uh who's the guy who's playing mobius again uh, oh Owen wilson oh wilson yeah. oh, man it felt, I mean, it felt like so good together was... which is why you know oh yeah, oh, I think like the last treat. season, like the first season, they, they lost some of that right in the middle. They just separated. And the best part was right. their, the chemistry was great. I loved them. And then, so, but I'm glad. But that's what they, at the time, that's what we get now, right? Story, yeah. At the time, they wrote a story for the for what they wanted the characters to do, not realizing how well they're going to play off that's, each that's other. Fair. Yeah. And, and now that you do, I guarantee you, they're going to be stuck at the oh, hip I, the I whole so. time. I, I hope yeah, so. Yeah, you can't. Yeah, that was the best part of that. I don't, don't separate Absolutely. them again. It just, it doesn't, it it was fine, but it didn't. It, the quality dipped when they weren't sharing the screen together, right? I think by putting yeah. they came together at the end, it was a little too late. It was fine, but um, we saw what's her face. She's in it too, right? Um, well, the other Loki, the other variant. The, the girl plays Sylvie. Yes, Sylvie. Thank you. Yeah, she's in it. That was her, right? Yeah, that okay, was her. Okay, okay. Yes. I figured that was. So, so she's back in. It looked cool. And I mean, it did. I got to tell you, she's wearing, I believe, an Egyptian ankh on her earring. Okay. And I'm like, oh, is that connecting to the Egyptian? Kang that we saw at the end of Quantum Mania does that uh, connect mm -hmm. to Moon Knight? Is there something there? Like I'm, I'm, you know, if we saw a Kang on the on some street dude's jacket in Moon Knight, <laughs> does that all connect to something as well? I don't know. A bunch of fun little possible Easter eggs there. I want to see what's gonna go. What that's gonna yeah, come I'm out. I'm curious of. what you know, how what approach it take if it has. I'm I'm looking for more than anything else is just the long lasting effects. Like what Absolutely. impact does that? I just don't want it to be some kind of closed off story. I really don't. Right. I mean, um, you can't. Look, if you got Jonathan Majors in this well, and you're dealing with TVA. Maybe, um, <laughs> to be determined, 
to be let's, let's be fair, right? Maybe well, so, right, let me, maybe let not, me, right? But you know, <laughs> just saying. Let this, me rephrase my statement. Chance. If you have a version of Kang in there, there you go. it's gonna connect to the Kang Dynasty. I, I would assume you cannot so, not connect. I would assume so. I mean, let's see. I, I hope they do it. Don't. I don't know. Sweep it under the rug, so to speak. I don't know because I we'll see. I, I don't know what the plan is. No one knows what the plan is. So I don't know. I'm hope, but I'm, I'm hoping and nothing else to give us something to springboard off this until sure until whatever they're going to plan to do right we know sure. echoes has nothing to do with it and whatever not so that comes out afterwards uh, i'm not sure the marvels does either i got a feeling it's not going to be i heard anything. the marvels one of the uh I, 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 uh one of the post credit scenes has something to do with that which is fine but it's not the movie itself it's not, and that's not right. That, that, that's, right it's right. not great i mean so i don't know whatever we'll see what well the out. movie does which is why the post credit scene connects to it maybe yeah, i'm not I, I, I don't want to say anything because I, I might be wrong for what i heard oh, but gotcha, gotcha. apparently because of the way their powers work there is a slight connection to the multiverse which is why there's a post credit scene that further expands on what that connection could be okay fair enough let's see okay. yeah let's see but this is this is cool i like loki so we'll see what yeah I'm, october I think so. October, whatever it is, October six. So we have to. We, we well. So what you're saying is we still have to go through Echo to get to Loki. No, Echo's after, isn't it? Echo's I after. don't remember. You no, know, no, Echo. No, Echo's getting dropped like, like the week after. That's like the next. Show. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. And yeah, yeah, yeah. all at once, like just just watch. Yeah, I mean, all the episodes. Okay, yeah. yeah. Thing. No, yeah. Notice we haven't seen a trailer for that. Not a single trailer. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's got to come out soon because it's already you know in August and I don't know. Maybe they can hold off a little bit, but it's they're coming back to back. The marketing campaign should begin to ramp up a little bit for that. That says it all. Just saying. Um, would it be? Would it oh. be? Would it? Would it be socially insensitive if all the Echo trailers were done silently? <laughs> okay, it'd be kind of cool, actually. To be honest with you. I, would I, it? I, I think it'd be kind of cool, right? Kind of cool. I don't think we censor them. To be honest, like all jokes aside, I think we'd be fine. I, I think we, we've seen that kind of out, that kind of stuff just, before in films, you know. Just complete quiet, and you're watching yeah. it, and all you maybe hear is like, the, there's like a, a thud thud of like a heartbeat. Yeah, like that's it. You're getting her perspective. That thing that I'm exactly. Not, I think, I think that would be kind of. I'm being a cool one. Where remind me? I saw something recent, not recently, but oh, there you go. Uh, Only murders in the building. Um, there's an episode where, and told from the perspective of one of the characters who's deaf. So okay. it's only it's like maybe one or two lines of dialogue at all, and the rest is completely silent. The whole episode It's incredibly well done, because uh, yeah, so you, from his point of view, so that should it's be been the done, trailer, really cool, right? Which all is really the trailer, cool. I mean, that's that's awesome. totally quiet. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, it's nobody complained then, so I assume it's okay. Um, I don't know, but let's finish off. Let's do one more one more thing. Yeah. So let's talk about The Witcher here, because I know we hadn't talked about this on the show. We both like. I like season one a lot. I like season two. Season three dropped two parts, five episodes, and three episodes. It's got a lot of shit. Uh, this was Henry Cavill's last season. Right. It hasn't been well received. Uh, a lot of people hate it. Bad reviews. Well, there's a reason why Henry Cavill's leaving. He says the writers don't respect the source material. Uh, apparently, what, what, what it is. But that being said, I unfortunately have to agree with what I've been hearing, what I heard, man. I This was a disappointment, man. But Pat Particularly knowing it was his last season, you want to see him go off better than what he did. Right. I think the first five episodes was okay, and and then there was like okay, maybe now we're set up for something really cool. Right, the cliffhanger for the first five was fun. Right, right. I like, it, it was a little bit of slog to get there, but we got there and it's fine. Right, I figured okay. And well, listen, I, I, the Witcher always slogs. That's no, just, no, just part oh, of it's the, just fair. No, it's right. absolutely fair. Um, but I figured okay, we're gonna get. And I was thinking we're gonna get five more episodes. I didn't know it was eight. That's what I thought so too. Right, and that's like three. I'm like, oh, okay. And episode six came out, which is I, I was just like, it was really good. Episode six should have been the ending of the of the season. Yeah. Right, that was a great episode, and then they gave us two episodes, which just brought everything down, all set up. They could have combined into one. I talked about it with uh, on the watch list here every Sundays. Uh, they should have combined one episode of both of them, kind of almost like a an epilogue, if you will. Right. If you want to do that, fine, because you know Gerald was just laying down the whole time, except the very end, a quick little fight scene. You know, that's about yeah. it. It was a, it was really dull. It just. It didn't work, man. It's like, kind of a shame, though, man. if you're going to bring in what's-his-name to be... Now, is he going to be a different Witcher, or is he going to be well, Gerald? That was the thing. I, 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 didn't, I they didn't say anything, but I just assumed, that's just on me, that he was going to play a different Witcher. So, I mean, I'm thinking, oh, maybe Gerald Rises of Sunset or some kind of ending, which, oh... That's what I was thinking. Right, Either right. Have, him, have him die, or whatever, discovered or... by the other Witcher, 
Or if he's going to be your cast, have him uh, like get like thrown into another dimension. So when he shows up different, you're like, what happened? Because I've been changed. Right. So like it's there's something. Something. I, I, so you're right. So that was weird. So I I still don't know. I, I'm at this point. I'm going to assume he's going to play the same character because if not, that's a real misfire. As far as I'm yeah. concerned, if he comes in, he's just a new guy, and Gerald is wherever. It just doesn't make sense because the whole story, but, story yeah, with Jen Jennifer and and you know, they're all together. That's the whole. That's the trio. And, that's all it's, point. it's gonna be him again i i assume that but yeah i wanted more man I was let down dude and because I, I like the witcher a lot and it's just like this is mediocre and i, and I think i'm being nice there. i think it's mediocre but i it, you know. it, it's it i don't think it was bad and i understand why it's mediocre it's, it is because it's uh okay so you know when you watch game of thrones the second to last episode is a big action sequence right, of course. and then the last episode is a wrap-up you could tell the guys who wrote The Witcher were like, hey, you know how like Game of Thrones gives you a one wrap-up episode? We're going to do two. That's how hardcore we are, man. We're yeah. going to do it. It's going to blow people's minds because we're really going to delve into like eight different possible spinoffs <laughs> and ignore everything else we've done and really give a F you to Terry Cap, who gave so much to this I role know, because he was man. such a fan. A we're going to do our because we know what we're doing, not these video gamers and authors and fans they're the bunch of dumbs like it's that's exactly what happened no, it's you're right it, it, it they drank their own kool-aid and they thought that they cracked the code on something oh, and we were like yeah. Eh, no yeah it was a big that that part was that part was bad the rest was mediocre that part was just it's just the way it ended because i like the six episode. i'm like oh man this is the sixth episode yeah i can't wait this season jeez what are we going from yeah. where do we go from here i know and it comes the seventh one it's all her in the desert all the whole time and it was just Dull and it's just too long. It's like okay, all right, one more. Let's see what's up. And okay, it wasn't much better. It's just it was just weird. And like for that, just you should have just one season six one season six episodes. And that's, that's it. it. Done. It should have ended with Geralt getting the crap beat exactly out of him, Thank left you. there on the ground, yeah. and you don't know what's gonna happen next. Yeah. That's the hook. And that's it. Boom. And come back next season. You replace him different. Fine, same character, different actor. Fine. You can live. I mean, we know it's coming, so we live. Have to live with it. What choice? He got have? beat up so bad that maybe structure. We start to hear. We can start the surgery. You know, uh, it's, it's, I don't know. Jennifer did something, some magic, and now it's someone else. Um, so if that was just odd. It, it, I just say, why split it in two? That was what they're gonna give us. You know, it was weird. It was it a really weird strategy, was. right? Because it just okay, you you hyped them, wait another month, and then this, this is what we get for a month, three episodes, and two being shit. Yeah, it was really weird. Yeah, disappointing, man. He deserved better than that. We deserved yeah. better than we that. We all deserve yeah, better. Yeah, we that. deserve better. And you know what? Henry Cavill deserves better than that. Of course, the man is a, is a nerd saint, and he gets very little credit what... except for all the hot women that are constantly after him, Whoa. and the fact that he's a millionaire. If you take those two things away, the man and, is suffering. Yeah, that's all he's got left. Um, but no, it was it was a shame. It was disappointing. I was watching this like, and I, at first I'm like, I'm watching it from the beginning. I'm like, okay, that's, that's the beginning. Then second episode, okay. Then third, I'm like, for the fourth time, I'm like, dude, what is going on here? I'm really concerned. And then and then again, the fifth was okay. Then the well, I'm like, okay, They're saving it all for the last half, last five episodes in my mind. Right? Typical. And yeah, it's just I was I don't know why. It's just been six six episodes. Leave it at that. Uh -huh. if, if they would have ended with that six episode, I think would have felt completely different you know people would have complained because oh you know gerald whatever fine blah, blah, blah. but at least whatever. people would have been excited to see what's next right it's like oh okay what's coming i don't know and it's like you could i mean you, could, you really could have started the next season with the combination of those last episodes absolutely if you wanted to right um because remember witcher's a slog in the beginning so yeah, it would have made perfect course. sense yeah. to slog it out for those two yeah, introduce we, we saw what happened you know the, the, the tower came down you know who knows if she's in the series alive or not gerald's all messed right. up jennifer's up whatever okay damn and now we reintroduce her but okay she's in the desert gerald's here and he's her there's and, a group of guys whatever. called the rats they're yeah trying you're right exactly thing, and, so and yeah cool, that, that would have been cool but yeah it was what a misfire this is a really poor execution man this is it's i hope because I, I hear this is just should have been thrown out that it didn't do very well. They may not continue the series. I hope that's not the case. I hope they didn't they didn't ruin everything, right? Because that cause that would be insane. That would be, that would really be I would really mad. That that would just make me mad. I'm not disappointed. Yeah. I'm disappointed, right? Because it's yeah. a good show. When Henry I, Cavill leaves you like these guys suck. They don't know what they're doing. Right. And they're like, we'll show you how much we suck. Right. Like, yeah, we just said that. Like, and damn. now the show's over because you guys <laughs> suck so much. Why would you say we suck? I mean, God. It, it yeah, they, 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 bring that, they don't bring this show back. It's kind of like, man, this guy's killed the show, man. It sucks, man. Because, listen, 
I love Henry Cavill. I do. I think he's great, but I'll give someone else a shot. Whatever, fine. Right. Sure. But if the show's good, you can replace the actor. It's, it's ha- we've seen it happen a bunch of times. It's not new. You want to know how I knew the series missed the mark? They try to do a toss a coin to your Witcher song for the end credits and not in the series. Yeah, you're right. You, yeah. What are you doing as an end credit? Have that dude sing it and have people fucking harp it on it and download it. Yeah. Like, no, no. You have, it was Agatha all along in the series. You have to toss a coin to your Witcher in the series. You don't play it as a credit scene. If it's not even heard in the series, Insane. Yeah, Insane. That's yeah, that was one song, but it wasn't anywhere near as good as we had in the first. No more is near as good as Tossacor. But listen, if you're gonna try, make it diegetic in the series, not as part of the score. Get yeah, out. Yeah, it was weird. Because you because they, they done it both. I think in last season was Burn the Witch, whatever. That played in, in you know in the series and they played in the right. at the end credits, same episode. But that's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's which is great. Fine. Which is the way that's it's supposed to be, right? Get the full version of the song. Was a good season. Yeah, that's the way it's supposed to be. So yeah, the, uh, disappointment all along. This was they, they got they marveled it. It is what it is. Um, you know, didn't end well. You know, it's contagious wow. apparently. Ouch. Uh, Ouch. Well, it didn't end well. Let's be honest, it did, right? I mean, I'm not not lying here. To um, compare it to though, that's that's uh, they they mar- they Marvel face forward it. Let's say it like that. Put a little they, they, context. They Marvel statement. recent it it. How about that? They face forward it. They face forward it. That's not gonna cut. Uh, Witcher face forward. It. They, yeah. So whatever. I, I'll keep my coin. I'll I'll be glad to toss my coin to Hensworth if it's good. Hopefully, hopefully they it comes back. I want to. It's gotta end better than this. Yeah. Even if it's yeah. just one season to set oh, it right. I'm fine. Actually, I I'm. I kind of expect him to say it's the last season, right? Just so they can finish up with the story because it's hard to yeah. do a show like that. And I, still a good, I assume it's got a good fan base despite sure. what they thought of this last one, which is understandable. And it's, it's not egregious. And I agree with that. Um, but no, but that being said, let's, let's see what happens. But that being said, them are the Nuggets for the week. Guys, we did it. We talked about this week in Geek. Thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe here on the Latin Nerd Network, here on YouTube, where you can watch Nerd Splaining and Thanos' Choice and the watch list every Sunday as, Thanos, as, as our own personal Thanos, Jose, has said as well, where he approves or snaps away judgments on all the shows that he likes and didn't like. You can watch as well. Don't forget to follow us on social media at Nerd Splaining Pod on Instagram, at Nerd Splaining underscore on Twitter. If you like this uh, show and want to listen to the original audio episodes, go to ericthesilva.com, E-R-I-C-D-A-S-I-L-V-A. While you're there, don't, don't forget to pick up my album, Adorably Offensive, a great gift for people you like, a better gift for people that you hate. Uh, and, uh, and while you're out there, guys, don't forget to check out uh, the book I'm working on. It's called Danger Squad. The website is dangersquad.com. Just a little bit of tease of what's going on. More information to come. We are currently working on it. I'm very excited about it. more information. I promise, I promise, I promise. And guys, once again, that has been the show. Let us know what you like. Let us know what you don't like. Let us know what you want to talk about next. And we'll attack all those things. Once again, I am Eric Da Silva. This is Jose Romero. We have been nerd explaining. If you don't know, now you know. Boom. Peace.